I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful as always that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate the support. And of course, if you guys want to support me further, you can do that by going to my Patreon site. The link is in the description below and you can give me a dollar a month, five dollars a month, whatever you prefer. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about something interesting that came up for me recently as I was thinking about my childhood and, you know, how I used to behave. <laughs> and one of the things that I noticed that is a tendency within me still. It is something that I'm still carrying within myself. It's a sort of burden, perhaps, a sort of heavy weight on my shoulder that I haven't been able to get rid of no matter what I do, no matter how much work I do, no matter how much I give back to the world. I still feel the sense of weight on my shoulder and it ha has to do with the fact and has to do with the fact that I am very lucky. <laughs> I'm one of the, and I say this all the time, I'm one of the luckiest people on this planet. If not the luckiest, I am the luckiest person on this planet. Sometimes I feel I have so much. I have been given so much. I am grateful and gratified by everything that I have. I have great I have a great family system, a support network, friends, acquaintances. I love what I do. Uh, I've created this amazing life for myself. I have so much. I have enough food to eat. I have clothes to wear. I have love in my life, creativity, creative projects to work on. I mean, uh, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? But it's interesting to me as an INFJ child, and a lot of INFJ children have this sense within themselves, which is why I want to share this with you, is that we have this sense of justice and fairness. And this is something that is, is ingrained within us from men we're children. We want the world to be a fair place. We want the world to be just. We want everything to happen in a way where everything everyone receives exactly the same compensation, receives exactly the same love, exactly the same whatever it might be, right? Of course, the world doesn't work that way. And as a child, I realized that very early on. Now, I've always been grateful for what I've had, even when I was very poor. When we were younger, my parents were very poor. We were very poor. But even then, you know, I had more than enough food to eat. I was a big round baby and I, my parents would give me loads and loads of food to eat, even though we had very little. And they would buy me candy. They would buy me cake. My mom would bake her cakes for ourselves, for ourselves, uh, her, by herself, sorry, um, for our birthdays. And, um, you know, they, I, we would only get presents or new clothes once a year, but, you know, I, I was still grateful for it. I would, you know, I'd wear it and I'd look at it and I'd be happy about it. Uh, same thing with shoes. We got shoes very rarely as well, new shoes, but, you know, I'd be so happy about it. And so in general, we had very little, but I was extremely grateful for it. But as an INFJ child, as a child in general who noticed the inequalities in the world and still do, the injustices and unfairness in the world, I would see people around me so many people around me now i didn't notice the people who had more than me i was like all right cool you have more than me awesome great good for you awesome you're very lucky and you should be grateful for it but i never compared myself to them and saying thinking oh wow they have more than me i want that why are they so much more luckier than me i never looked at that side of the issue or side, that side of the picture i always only looked at the ones who had l less than me the people who had much less than me our beings in general who had less than me I remember so many instances when I'd walk past a beggar in India or walk past anyone like children or you know, poor people in general who had less than me or people with, with tears in their shoes or tears in their clothes or kittens with very little food or um, dogs on the side of the street who were starving and obviously very skinny. So many instances of people, beings, anything around me who had less than me. And I'd always feel, even as a child, and I remember the sensation very well, and it's so ingrained in me that I still feel it, obviously, the sensation of the, the world not being fair and this, this, this very deep sense of guilt, extremely deep sense of guilt that I have so much, I am so lucky, and why are there people on this planet who have less than me? And why, why in God's name, was I so lucky as to be born in this situation and not in someone else's situation? someone else's situation who was, who was worse off than me. And this question of why was I given this opportunity to live in a family that gave me so much love and so much food and so much gratitude and so much stuff, I always have this sensation within me of guilt and of this questioning, why, why me? Why was I chosen to live such an awesome life and why not someone else? Why did I get such an easy, awesome, beautiful life 
And why do other people not get that? And I remember asking this question to my mother, to my parents, to people around me all the time until I realized that it's not the right question to ask and people don't like being asked this question. But I'd always constantly be asking it within myself, in my head. I remember asking this question a million times over. Why am I so lucky and why are there other people on this planet who are not? Especially I would think about all those people, all those starving children or all those children in Ethiopia or, or in like Africa. Why Ethiopia? I don't know why Ethiopia. But in Africa in general or in Asia who were starving or who had to work in inhumane conditions in, in factories, in mines, in things like that. Even as a child, I was aware of these situations. And I'd think about it and I'd think to myself, why why not? Why was I born here and why were they born there? Yeah. And so the, the idea of karma and all that stuff was not really clear within me then. I did not understand all of that. And I still don't know what the, what the difference is, why some people are born here and there and why I was lucky enough to go to Canada and, and some people are not. I mean, I don't understand a lot of things about why people are chosen for certain lives and why they're not chosen for certain other lives and why some people have a really hard life and why some people have a really easy life. I don't understand the differences between that yet and I still don't understand why it's so freaking unfair and why there's so much injustice in the world. But as a child, I would look at these situations and I would really feel terrible. And I'd always think to myself, I know I'm being ungrateful and I'm sorry for that. I'm so grateful, God, that you gave me this life. But if I could switch with one of these people who have a terrible life, I would do it in an instant. And I would always say this in my head. And I'm not saying that to be ungrateful. And I would always preempt it, obviously, because I am grateful to have this life. I am Now I can actually see like the, all the work that my parents put in to bring us to this life. So it, it just didn't ra randomly happen. My parents did a lot to actually make this life happen for us. And I'm doing a lot right now to make this life happen for me. But at that point, you know, I just assumed that I was just kind of dropped into this easy life and other people are dropped into a hard life. And I always be like, all right, God, if, if, if you want to give a better life to any of these other people, you're more than welcome to take from me, from me specifically, not from my family, but from me. And so it's funny to me because I was thinking about this recently and I was thinking to myself how lucky I am and how grateful I am for my life and how I feel like I'm one of the luckiest people on this planet, if not the luckiest. And this... Again, the sense of guilt, the sense sensation of wanting to, you know, sacrifice or give to someone else so I can live a harder or tougher life always comes upon me. Now, I'm better at dealing with it now, of course, because I know that I work really hard for this life particularly, and I still do. But always and forever, I have this sensation of guilt where I have to constantly be dealing with it, constantly because... As, an, as a person right now in this world, I am, as I said, one of the luckiest people in the world. I would say I'm one of the top 1% luckiest people on the planet. And so to be one of the top 1% out of eight, almost 8 billion people, it feels like a great boon. It feels like great fortune. And I feel unworthy of it. And I don't know why. Because if God or the universe has decided this is my life and this is what they want to give me, they must have done it with some sort of idea in their head. They just don't randomly do things, I don't think. And so I deserve it in some shape or form. Maybe I did something good in my past life. And that's what I started thinking when I was a child as well. I'd always be like, all right, cool. Maybe I was a really good person in my past life and God's just thanking me or, or uh, giving me a reward for it. And that's the reason I have such a good life now. So I'd always kind of make that excuse for myself. I was like, maybe I was Gandhi in my last life. Obviously joking. Uh, but uh, maybe I had, you know, I did something good in my past life. Maybe I gave up something or I sacrificed or something. And so God's giving me this life as a reward. And that's what I tell myself. And that's what I tell myself now as well, that I am so lucky, again, partly because of the hard work of my parents, hard work of myself, but also because the universe is trying to reward me somehow because maybe I, I did, lived a good life in the past. And so that's how I kind of, you know, assuage, kind of remove some of that guilt and remove some of that feeling of, oh my God, I'm so lucky, why? <laughs> Now, it's a weird thing to ask that question. Most people will not. I mean, most people will take that good fortune and just run with it. But again, as a sense of justice and fairness in this world as an INFJ, we just need to know the reason why and we need to know that things are just. We need to know things are fair. And if they're not, we want to make them fair. We want to balance things out. Now, I'm not saying I'm a communist or anything, although the idea really appeals to me uh, or a socialist. Although, and I do love living in Canada, or I did love living in Canada because of that, because it's a very socialist country, you know, believes everyone's equal, etc. 
Um, but, you know, we live in a capitalist society. There's no way everything's going to be equal and everyone's going to have equal stuff. But I'm thinking more in terms of an intangibles. I want everyone to have equally amount of, uh, equal amounts of love and, and beauty and peace in their life and contentment and all that good stuff. You know, yeah, stuff, stuff, like um, physical stuff is okay. But like reality, I'm more, more interested in, in the intangibles. Okay. I hope this makes sense to you guys. I really wanted to share this tidbit from my childhood and from my adulthood. Uh, and I wonder if you guys have this sense of guilt or does this sense of justice and fairness, how does it play out in your life as an INFG? I'd love to hear from you as well. And if you guys, of course, want to support me further, if you like this video or any other videos or you like me in general as a YouTuber, then please support me by going to my Patreon site. The link is in the description below. And I shall see you guys the next time around. Bye for now.